That's what I thought. Like, he's just trying to be so edgy. Here we are. Nope. What? That was that was the end of that episode. Okay, fine. <sighs> I think we're gonna finish this chapter and then be done for today. I wanna just finish the game. <laughs> There's stuff I wanna talk to you about. Fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna keep going? Sorry, it's just burp. Yeah, we'll stop that. You're not allowed to burp. Too bad. Fuck your burps. Okay, you ready? Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Friend Bo. So in the last episode, uh, we met up with Dr. Dearen again, and he's like, yeah, your cat's dead, everything you believe is a lie, and then we're just like, nope, I can see into your mind! And he's like, how do you know that? And we're just like, I don't know. And that's and the story And then he's just like, yeah, far. well, fuck you knowing that. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. So, uh, now that we've, uh, essentially destroyed reality, let's go on and, uh... Be at a graveyard, spoilers. I mean, you can see the graves in the backyard, and it's obviously a graveyard, but I mean, spoilers. Look at that weeping so, angel right there. Read your line. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> I did this last time. I'm stealing a crowbar. Hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Mm, look here, box. I wonder if it has the little secrets inside. I really just want to put this in, like, reverse or something and let it go. So I could look at this again if I wanted to, but I have no interest because I read it all last episode. It can't be good to press all the buttons. I wanted to do it on Itward's ship, but I'm not allowed to do it here. Also, I did this last time, and I didn't really know why, but... Whoops! What a big hole I made! Well, I have the leather now! I totally stole... I totally just ruined his... He won't seat. mind. He'll be fine. Like, I could have done that to the back seat or the side seat, but no, I didn't the one that he sits on all the time. I'm such a dick. Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? No, You're she's scary. Sleepy. I wish I had wings like Aww. you, but I don't. What's up? You haven't even seen Doctor Who. You know the jokes you're Okay, to make. fuck off. I could still make weeping angel jokes. Okay, well, uh, look at the thing. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. <gasps> Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we'll have justice. I'm fucking conjugating your ship for you. Stupid bitch. Not conjugate. Whatever. You Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, but for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. So you brought a 11-year-old year girl, girl to dig up her parents' graves. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the de deadly worms came already. Who? Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Dearn. See you soon. So, do you remember uh, something you have to do to edit in an achievement? Okay. Martin Bow, father, 2406-1901 to 2107-1944. Lucia Bow Dagenhart, 1502-1905 to 2107-1944. Fran Bow Dagenhart, 1712-1934 to 2207-1944. They, uh, well, at least they got that part right one day after. So, I light up your world like nobody else. Good job. Oh, lovely little bear. You must take care of my parents. I wonder who put that bear there. 
A rose. Is this for the bad smell of the rotten bodies? How does she know that? How does she know that? That that's why they carried rose petal... Whatever. Uh... Haven't you rested enough already? Did the deadly worms take you back to the soil? Are you coming up soon from under the ground like a zombie? This is the 40s. How does she know what a zombie is? Like, I can understand Dracula if she read books, but zombies weren't that common back then. Zombies were actually popularized by uh, film. But nobody likes to be dead, so that's great. I think nobody wishes to be alone, so I'm leaving. Oh. Alright. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the Shetful storage room. It's just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. Set it on fire. No, Gabe, you just can't burn everything in your path. Okay. That's not what this um, game is about. I pry open the door like nobody else. Oh, oh hello. God, not them. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please, don't be scared. I She's won't harm you. She's pretty small for a giant. You're like half her size. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, uh, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Uh. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we were we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Ah, oh, well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and open the door, all right, giant miss? But where will I ever find that, huh? All right, I'll see what I can do. It's not like I already have some on me because I'm a future seeing prick. <laughs> oh, She's so still cute. terrifying. He is cute. He's cute. They're he is both cute. cute. She Stop is terrifying. Being so judgmental. See that mouth. See that mouth. See that nose. See those eyes. Yeah, she they're is terrifying. She's cute. Well, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zealess, will be happy. And we'll now open the door, just a second. Oh, God. Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm, I'm alright, miss, yes. Good, well, thank you, you opened the door, even if you do not have a concussion. You're welcome, giant miss, uh, Fabio? Chase the booty. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. They're into some kinky things that they want. They're going to be make. mating together. They're going to be mating together with with leather. They're making bondage outfits. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. Oh, I can't dig with a broom. Oh, there's nothing here I could use. I love how you do that whole fucking fetch quest for no reason. Read. There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Doesn't let me select him. Good. That is disappointing. You can't hit him with the shovel game. <laughs> well, now we have to come up with... Some... Oh, wait, it's yours. It's yours. Yeah, I forgot. Well... Now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I need to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins so you can God see your it. dead parents! Seriously, Jackie, what the fuck, Dr. Dearn? Stop. Stop. Just... Start paying attention. Your, I am paying attention. I voice. just keep thinking that you're the one that voices him. All right, sir. I'll open them. You have to get uh, yeah, in there. These coffins can't be opened. The lids are stuck. I'm going to draw over them. Ah, things not working makes me angry. Oh, hey, it's my father. 
And my mother in her beautiful blue dress. Oh no, mother, you're so skinny, a bit too much, I'd say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. Oh my goodness, father, the deadly worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk to me and tell me who you took you away from me. Was that big bad monster, daddy? Uh, there's one issue. These people were torn to bits. Do they weren't torn to bits, they were just cut off a bit, so what they probably did is they probably just stuffed the pieces into the clothing. The, the chest... Oh, okay, whatever. Finally, last but not least... What random the cap. That's a, such a shame you I'm not cap. in the coffin, great! But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, name you Albert. Officially, Albert canonically, the Albert. Albert the cat. Yep. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? Because I, as a grown adult, can't just look in the coffins? No, sir. I just feel very bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat's not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. So they... they <gasps> You know, rather than going to pick up any random cat, they actually found my cat, killed it, and then stuffed it into a coffin. Why'd they even put a cat in there to begin with? I know the whole, like, oh, if this... Oh. Oh. The cat box theory? Oh, okay, that cat? makes more sense. Yeah, Schrodinger's cat box theory. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Clues. Some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Oh, dick. Hi, Satan! Oh, bye. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. I don't think any of those three people were the person I just took, though. By the way, though, like, at least now Dr. Deeren won't worry about us taking the leather off his seat. Fair. Though he would have already seen that because he looked in the thing for the crowbar. All right, fuck. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. <laughs> Wake up. Chapter, chapter five, five. The, House, the of House of Madness. I think this is the last chapter. So. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I'll always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. Well, Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. 
I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. Move away from your mic while I'm there. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Disgrace! Ah, again. So. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Ah, Grace, out! Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt huh, Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why boy, Mr. Midnight? She's a bitch. She wouldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he's fine, but what should I do now? Get good. Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound and never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. No, no, no. You can't cut chains, Gabriel. Don't you could you pull wish. a scary movie four and just cut your arms off. But then <laughs> cut off, like, your leg on accident. The other leg, yeah. Um... Okay, that's not important. Have I read this yet? I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that I used to We read all this, I think. I think so, too. Okay, this was the language, the alphabet before, so that I could translate if I so desired. Mabuka. Good. The end of light. Um, where was it that said it? Said what? A certain thing. The nurse always chained me to the bed. Hmm. How did I do this before? It's been such a long time, I don't even remember where I got half the things I have. The cat to me has a keyhole. Too bad I don't have a key, so this is completely useless at the moment. I mean, you can play with it. This is the box Palantras gave me. What should I do to open it? It has so many buttons to press. Is this where we're supposed to use this? No. I don't have any pills. I actually have no memory of what to do. Try looking at the picture. I, I got this one immediately last time, Just and I don't have any. Room. Time for the cuckoo clock. Because I'm crazy. What the f There we go. Yeah, I thought so. You just have to what? wait. What? <laughs> you just wait until the game decides to send you there. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. No, I'm not sick. But you're chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Well, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Word already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. Crash? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross an ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, to break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. Because people don't die when they are killed. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Because, you know, black and white people aren't real people. They're creatures. They're creatures, yeah. Do you know who- Fran's a racist. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend? 
I don't have a cat. I guess this that's the difference between us. Anyway, let's see if I can walk you. So happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. And now we play as Tiny Fran. Oh, sweet, sweet Melody. The big, big teddy bear eats big, big monsters. Please talk. I know you can. No? You're bad, Teddy. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before, huh? That shirt's angry with me. It didn't fit, so I said it was a dumb shirt. It's been lying on the floor ever since then. These are pants that can be used by creatures with two legs. Or as a hat for those with long ears. Anyway, I won't use them now. The blue scarf from Wintertime. What is it doing here? It's not winter. I'll pick it up some other time. Please, Fran, find a way to unlock me. I need to find Mr. Midnight. I'm on it. Don't panic. Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? I'm just a funny, clever girl, that's all. The door is locked. If I open it, I'll get in trouble. If I get in trouble, I'll be sad. Okay. So there's it word on uh, pol what's his name? Polantris. I almost called him Polaris, and Polaris is not him. So. All right, one blue blanket and a one white. I don't need them right now. They're for when it's very cold. Crayons to draw happy faces on everything, or to give color to the ugly things, or just to draw on paper. I don't feel like drawing Oddly right enough, now. Real quick, Maybe I can no... make a paper boat. But there's, I can. I'm on a mission. Let's concentrate. There's no green crayon in that can. And green was her favorite color. Hmm. Weird. Some of my clothing to make shoes. Shows. I like to dress differently for every show. It gives me more character. Did you do bad things? That's why you're grounded, little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. Ah, that jacket. I almost always put on that jacket to go outside. I can't even play then. It's quite useless. Ah, oh, my yellow dress is so pretty. I'll try not to grow up so much so I can use it forever. But if I grow up, I can use it as a shirt. I don't... Alright. That's My key collection. I hope I can lock the other friend now. Okay. Let's see, which key? Um... Let's try this one. It's locked. It must have locked with the power of the key. Oh. Ah, it won't fit. Let's try another one. Aha! Unlocked. Dang it. That's a lame. Got it on the second try. I wanted to well, do that's lame. Damage. I actually did the thing I was supposed to do. Thank you so much, Fran. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Palantris told me that if we met someday, I should give you this. Here, I think I'll help to open something. Okay, there we go. Palantris, you know him too? Wow, thank you so much. Yes, he told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, Fran. Oh, wait, that's yours. Oh, right. Yeah, that's me. Ha, ha, ha. <clears throat> Come on, Fran. We must go see the doctor now. I said we instead of you. I fucked it up! Fran over here seeing things. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the only one. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure you took Mr. Midnight, but this nobody a... can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. This is a pretty room. I like like the lights that are up in the corner and all like her stuff. It's nice. My slippers. I use them when it's raining. I can't go outside. Also, when it's weekend, I don't need to go to school. Anyway, I don't need them to rescue Mr. Midnight. Uh. Okay. I love this comic. I like the part when the alien takes the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places like Atherstah. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. It sings all the time. Choo-choo! And then you crash and die. Oh my god, what? Fran. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the big doll my daddy and I built together. Her name is Pawan and she likes to be naked. She has a dress once, but she burned it. I think you're really messed up, friend. The Nutcracker stands on guard. I think he's afraid of the ladies, because sometimes he bites me for no reason at all. Do you remember how to do this? 
Of course I do. I don't like to drink sodas because my tummy gets mad. Is something back there? This is the one I thought was way more complicated than it was. Oh, I ripped the paper off. Yeah. I feel the texture. What could it be? Well, I mean, I, uh, I don't have these matches anymore all of a sudden. Ha, key! I bet this can unlock something. Alright, well, I don't think I needed anything else. I rescued the queen for my dad's playing cards. I was forced to cut her out of her twin sister, though. The other queen is dead now. Damn. This one is Albert, and he likes relative things. She names a lot of things Albert. It's convenient to think that everything is relative, especially if you don't have a straight answer. This is Albert Einstein. Oh. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Yeah. My mother drew this flower for me. I lied to my friend once and told her that I drew it myself, but then I told her the truth and she said it was okay. <laughs> Lady Serena, upside down, her tears... Okay, I can't read, read that. I robbed this painting from one of my friend's dollhouses. After that, I never invited him to play with me. Mostly because I didn't want to show him what I stole from him. God damn. The door to the dollhouse. I don't need matches right now. I'll just leave them right here, because I lost my matches. I don't need matches anymore. I mean, they've been incredibly useful on this journey, but why would I need them now? Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> I painted this one. It's Kitty and Me. We're lying on the grass and looking up at the sky. And I'm singing songs to Mr. Midnight, too. Crayons, Lady Gnome, Teddy, Ballerina, yes, all in one place. Hmm, I like the sound of the musical box. It reminds me of Itward in a way. The doll likes to read a lot. I know because I taught her. I bet she can tell all the stories in the books from memory. I should teach her to talk too so she can tell me the stories. Time from the cuckoo clock. Alright. Let's check out my version of this. Uh... <laughs> Hello, Alice. Ah, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. We have so much fun making stuff up together. Making stuff up. Just a regular school scarf, doing what regular scarves do. Just, okay. Nothing else, really. The shoes, they like to cover my feet. These make me think of the great dancer in Atherista. I wonder if you'll ever dance again without the shoes. I don't believe you can hear the ocean in the show at all. I think it'll just, it's just my ears making it up. Anyway, it's pretty and I like it. My summer hat, it doesn't fit anymore, my head's too big. My mother always told me that it was because I have a big brain. But I wonder, is it a good or bad thing? Who knows? Lots of candies in the jar. Ew, it has cat hair over it, I won't look it. Okay. Hello, don't look at me like that. We had a deal, you stay here until I grow up. Because grown up people are not afraid of dolls, I think. <laughs> I'll take my sleeping bag. I will take my sleeping bag when I found Mr. Midnight, so we can have somewhere to sleep in a Thersta. I hope it word comes by to get me. I don't want to be here anymore. My school case. I may need it. My. S That's all you have to say. Okay. I didn't realize that. I thought I'd give a definition to that. This is the key was hidden in the dollhouse. Okay. Um. My tiny sock or my tiny feet. I'll just leave it there. And a bunch of balloons. Balloons in many colors. <laughs> Party balloons. Okay, well, I'm going to start doing things with my inventory now. The little golden box is having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears first, twice to the left, and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it had tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Okay. Write it down. Okay. Oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master. After not realizing I had to press the eye again, and Cassie yelling at me because the thing's lagging and she couldn't see that I pressed the left ear twice. Yeah. 
Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. The Vulacus is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the cog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my horned evil child and shut down the lights. Okay, okay. so we need, um... We need all these things in here. Mm -hmm. We need an empty case, which we already have, a working bulb, a wake-up clock, a bottle with water, a soap bar, one glove, black wire, and piano keys. I know of at least one thing that's in here that we need in this room. Okay. That we haven't gotten yet. I mean, the working bulb's right there, but, yeah. Guess we can't get that. Um, wake up clock. Check the dollhouse. Is it this? No. It's not oh, the piano up. keys. There you go. That's not piano keys, but all right. Yeah, we fucked with a lot of the stuff that you're supposed to have. I think that's the only things you can find in here. Wait, no. There's one more thing, but we won't be able to take that until later. So okay, you can leave now. Now. Do you have a secret in your tummy, Mr. Cat? I wonder if this cap-shaped key will work on this cat lock. And we have a door. The door! The door! The door is everything! By the way, the only two achievements in this uh, thing that you have to like try to get are um, at the very end. Okay. Let's see. And I can see my own eyeball looking at me in the now toy box like place, I guess. I don't know. So, let's use this key. The key doesn't fit. This key on this one. Ah, oh, it worked. Now, this key, let's try. Okay, we got those two doors open. So, let's go in this one first. Uh... I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell me your tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't, he never does. Besides his teeth, they're reinforced. It'd be hard to get the key without his permission. Reinforced teeth, I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. And who are you, if I might ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. And welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who's Mabuka? Oh, you don't know who Mabuka is? <laughs> you don't? Oh, leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is. If Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, uh, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should just go now. I've said enough. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Inside the little house. Oh, a little message in the pocket. Too bad I already found it. Yeah, too bad. I never, I never used that uh, thing. I found that, like, right at the start. It would forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot his head. Or maybe the hat can't exist without the head and vice versa. That means nothing's real. Wow. Fuck. I think she just mind fucked herself. You okay, friend? Oh, mysterious paintings in a mysterious place. This is indeed very mysterious. The eyes are crying tears of blood. That's sad. Okay, friend. I think you you're just messing with You didn't go all the way through that room, Gabe. What the hell? Did I not? Oh, right. I forgot there was the eyeball on the left. Oh, hey, it's soap. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, that would be the end. I don't want- I don't like so thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. Don't drop the soap. 
But be careful with the hijackers, they love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible, I'll be careful, thank you for the soap, see you later. Let's turn on the water like nobody else. I don't have anything to keep that on. Oh wait, yeah. I can use these. Ah, the powerful water balloons. Yay! And we're done here. And now into room 104. Oh, hello, Hi. Darling. Can I voice him? Go for it. Yeah. Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. What a big guy you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal? Queen? Princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a, f a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I de did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bear of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him, it's my friend Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep, waking her can end in disgrace. People love the word disgrace here. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are a brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Okua. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. I got a hairbrush in New York doll. I don't know. A golden snail. Is somebody in there? Maybe the snail's asleep. Shh. The golden snitch. The eyes are looking around. I wonder what they see if they don't have a brain. Maybe Okua... Maybe a Kua, but she can't be the... Okay. Oh, she? What the uh, fuck? It's a girl? Because she's an eye. How do you know it's a girl if it's an eye? Uh, I, I like the more robotic sounding voice, so whatever. Um, Insert button. Oh. Yeah, this is the other thing we need from your room. We couldn't so get I it could have... now, though. The bottle's perfect. I'll take it. His heart is very disturbing. So, you can go back to your room to grab the thing. Yep. I have a few things to do. Well, yeah, I forgot about the one. Alright. Now... My lovely peach dress for sunny days. It is really cute. The coat Green for when it's windy and cold. Right? That blue one's The cute. summer dress is a big button. A big button, you say? A big pink button for my summer dress. Alright. So you know, wait, Gabe, go back to your room. Go back to your room. Go to your what? window. Okay, I didn't want to do this yet, but fine. It's fine to do it now. We wanted to come back. Oh, goodness, I missed. God. Fucking Fran, get good. God ah, damn it, Fran. Almost. We only have one Use shot. Use aim bots. <laughs> Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. He just stares at us and goes, what the hell are you doing? Just Fucking stays kids. there. Wow, I don't feel sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. The uh, piece of meat. You can plant it if you like. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Okay. I guess this? Yeah. Alright, I don't think we have to come back to your room now, thank god. The backtrack. Oh, no. It's crazy. Oh no, not walking a few feet. This isn't, that's not the room we have to be in. Or, well, yeah, I guess you can put water on the bottle. Yeah. We never actually finished all the stuff with this. I filled the bottle with water. La la la. La, 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 la. What did we need this soap for, by the way? Uh, it's not important. I can't remember. 
the correct the correct answer is that I have no idea. I'm actually pointing this partly blind because I don't remember the, anything about the state of the game. <laughs> I haven't edited this, so there's no reason for me to know this part of the game. Uh, let's open this up. Use the button. And there goes my button. Now what? Huh? Hello, happy monkey. Is your name Darwin? Nice to meet you. I'm Fran. You play the drums very well. Don't you love Darwin? How the fuck would you know that? You haven't heard them. Now you have. That's not the key. At least... I hope this can help me somehow. What was it? It was the pliers. Oh, okay. I okay, wonder what I need. Go back. Hmm? There was something else in that room you need. Oh, yeah. I can take this cord because it's on the list. Now, we drop in here and we use the pliers. You won't give us the key, we'll just take it. And there's blood out of a skeleton, because that makes sense. So much sense. Shiny little key, come here. I wonder what door you unlock. How could you? I hope somebody takes it off your teeth as well. Well, the Tooth Fairy took all my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? Seems like Fran's got something against the Tooth Fairy. Yep. Let's open 103. The key doesn't fit. Maybe uh, 102? There we go. Hi, kitty. A wake-up clock. Perfect. It's tightly tied. I wonder what I could use to get it. I got you a little wake-up clock. Okay. Uh, let's pull this. There we go. Excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Thank you. Okay, what this else just do we stole need? The tree's glove. We need a working bulb, and we already have everything else. Wow. Ah, let's. Uh, let's head up here. Oh. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question, are you stuck to this tree? I am firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. I wonder what I could use this for. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Even though it's a brush. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn you if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Please be gentle, it's my first time. Oh, shut up. It worked! What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. Be but how? You're a Lucifer! All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. It feels like I need to fly away now. Just fly away! Fly away, fly away. This must be the key for the door 103. I can smell it. This? Fantastic, I can reach it. Now I have the key. Okay, I was really worried there before I read that because it wasn't doing it. So where do we get the bulb from? Uh, don't worry. We still have one more room to open up. I've never seen this before. Um. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, the person has never. That's terrifying. We're not gonna talk about that right now. So, like I said, this one works, but we can't take it for some reason. Okay. Uh. I think go to the room with the giant eye person. Yeah, I was about to. I think I know what I'm doing now. I was right. Great, I got the light bulb now. 
Now we have everything. Go, go, go. All right. Time to use all the items together. Um, put this one in there. This in there. This one in here. This one in here as well. I think this is the last item. Okay, I... So far. So what? Far. I did. Oh, maybe I didn't click on the hatch. What? <laughs> Alright, fine. It worked. And we got it. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. The e clock, it's finished. What's up, bitch? Ha, ha, ha. Fantastic. I'll wake up Mabuka with this next time on Let's Play Franbo. So, next time, we'll be waking up Mabuka. Cassian informed me, because this is as far as we've been in the game right at this moment, that there's just a little bit of the game left. So, we'll be mm -hmm. finishing things next time in the finale of Franbo. I hope you all are enjoying it, because I certainly am. See you all next time.